Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Andrew and I'm here to show you how to build spinning platforms in Roblox Studio. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, as our first step, let's go ahead and create two parts in our scene. Let's separate them. Now one of these is going to be our platform base and the other one is going to be our spinning platform. Let's go ahead and rename them here in the Explorer tab. Now just to make sure we don't get confused, I'm also going to recolor them. So I'm going to go down to the Properties panel and then change the color of the platform base to be blue. And then I'm going to change the color of the spinning platform to red. Obviously because it's the fastest color. Now that we have our two platforms, I'm going to go ahead and raise them up using the Move tool. Grab the green arrow to move them up. And then I'm going to add our hinge joint by clicking on the Model tab and then clicking the Create Attachment button. We're going to select Hinge, and then this part we have to do very carefully. I'm going to add the middle of our hinge joint to the middle of the spinning platform first, and then I'm going to drag it over to the middle of the platform base. Notice in the Explorer tab, that added an attachment underneath the spinning platform and a hinge constraint. And then if we expand this platform base, there's also an attachment there. Now that we have our hinge created and it's all lined up, I'm going to go into the spinning platform and select the hinge constraint. And I'm going to scroll down in the properties panel until I find the hinge section. There's a box that says actuator type. This is where we tell it to be a motor so it's going to rotate like a motor. And then I'm going to change the angular velocity. Let's set this to 10. Angular velocity is how fast it spins. I'm also going to change the motor max torque. This is how strongly it spins. I'm going to set this to be really high, like 900,000 high. I want this thing to move the player. OK, now that I've created our motor, I'm going to take the spinning platform and I'm going to move it so that it is up against our platform base. Now there's one very important thing that we need to do before we're ready to actually test this. <laughs> but let me show you what happens uh, if we test it right now. And maybe you'll spot what I forgot to do. Oh my gosh, what is going on? <laughs> I forgot to anchor the platform base, so it's just kind of moving around while our spinning platform is doing all the work. So let's go back and make sure we anchor our platform base. And who knows, maybe you want a spinning platform that just kind of wobbles around. All right, so to anchor our spinning platform, click on the platform base, and then you want to scroll down in the behavior section. It's the very first thing. Check the box to say it's anchored. This makes it so that it will not move, no matter what happens. You can also go up here in the model tab. There's an anchor button that you can click here. It does the same thing. All right, now let's test it. All right, look at that. We've got our spinning platform. This looks more like a drill right now, but let's show you how to scale this up, make it different shapes and sizes, and how to create multiple platforms. All right, next we're gonna change the shape of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the scale tool. And I'm going to grab these spheres and kind of drag them in the direction I want them to go. So I'm going to make this one a giant paddle. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to select both of them and click the Move tool to move them up. And now, and now we have this sort of paddle wheel shape. And if I jump on it at the right time, it should shoot me off in a different direction. Oh, there it goes. So how do you make differently shaped spinning platforms? Well, a good idea is once you have this first spinning platform set up, you want to actually group them together, group the parts together. So I'm going to select platform base and spinning platform, select both of them at the same time by shift clicking on them, and then right click and select group. Now these are both considered one model. You can see that the name has changed to model. I'm going to change that name to spinner. And then 
This is the awesome part. If we want more than one spinning platform, right click, duplicate. We got two of them, right click, duplicate again. Now we've got three of them. And you can do all sorts of things with these. If you want to rotate them around, you can. So you can make awesome uh, obstacles for your obstacle course. You can make traps if you have sort of an adventure game in mind. If you want, you can still change the shape of these by going in to the model itself and then just using the scale tool to make this platform be whatever shape you want yours to be. And now you know how to make spinning platforms in Roblox Studio. Have an excellent day.